The landscapes of our lives are for learning, where experience is our teacher. When we gather together to share our resources, we are destined to love and thrive. Hello, Pierre. Hey, hey good morning. I, um, we're doing a word practice. I love these word practices. It gets us into the sharing and thinking. And and so we talk about a word for <laughs> Maureen showing me a <laughs> golden retriever Buddha statue. <laughs> golden retriever. Only in America, folks. Only in America. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so uh, we share a word. And um, you said before, I, what? I can't think of a word, but now you have a word. So uh, oh, wait, I got I to gotta do a three minute time. There's so many to choose from. It's a ridiculous. I heard myself say, I can't think of a word. Really? Because you just said five of them in a row. <laughs> um, okay. What's your word? Um, my word is opportunity. <laughs> okay. Maureen grabbed that off a board. Um, it doesn't matter where the word comes from. Opportunity opportunity um opportunity i am referring to uh challenging situations um at my work as uh opportunities and i'm trying to morph my language to make it just 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 be better so stuff that was crap and shit excuse me for the swear word is now suboptimal and it's an opportunity rich environment um for improvements and and whatnot so it's it's a lovely word what do you what do you take from it well, you, you, your response right there just made me run to the dictionary and look up euphemism because you, I, I was like, okay, is he using opportunity as a euphemism for challenge? And some, when I think of a euphemism, it's like, oh, we, we want to say a word that's slightly different so that it lands a little bit nicer because the word is kind of unpleasant. So like yeah, right. challenges and, you know, challenges bad problems i mean I'm, problem. I'm substituting opportunity yeah, yeah. for problems absolutely right. i'm doing and, it and that's that is a that's that's a growth mindset okay carol dweck's book called mindset like growth mindset that's a shift in your attitude it's a literal shift in your perspective and world view if you're looking at the world of your experience and you know, you look at your calling problems, opportunities. That's a very powerful intention to to shift how you act. Then, right? I mean, that's huge. So you said growth, as in yes. It, okay, got it. Right. Yeah, it is powerful. Growth mindset, meaning you know, you're you're more opportunity looking looking at the world for opportunities in which you can grow. Right. You right. can you can vibe and learn even even pain, even the painful things. Um, yeah. And they say they say in mental health or in the world of, you know, clinical psychology research that um, the your beliefs and the way you interpret and assign meaning to your experiences is key to how you experience them. It's It's everything. Well, so, there's this crazy thing on, on the internet, and I don't know if it's true or not, but they talk to a jar of water. And I think <laughs> it's an experiment done in Japan and they swear at it and then they, they love it. It's two different jars of water huh. and then they put them somewhere and the jar of water that's been loved stays water and the other one just turns putrid. Now, it could be totally made up, but it's weird. That anyway, sounds, that's, not, that that's sounds the end wild. of our team. Yeah. Thank you for that word, opportunity. It was a wonderful opportunity to learn conversation and practice with you. And yeah. um, it's all about I'll learning. See, yeah. I'll see you around the corner for the next word. All right. I'll be there. All right. Okay. Um.